finishing finishing off the clutch on on how it works is that the clutch itself you can see the spline shafts right here the splined gearing or whatever this is the spline shaft the clutch tip, tips over like this and it doesn't matter which way you put it you, you can it'll it will fit on the shaft here and we'll just do it without the spring to show you now these plastic dealies right here are um, a different way the ruckus does it from the deal and you can see the the little uh, as the aluminum little teeth come up well you have to let's see if we can do this you have to put the clutch where it can go down in between those teeth and it's um it's hard to do with two hands because I've been up since four o'clock and I'm tired. Anyway, that's the way that goes. But once you figure out, and you can see it, it moves like this, but these little tiny teeth right here will go right in these areas right here. It's easy to do once you've done it. it, it once you've done it, you can do it overnight in your sleep. It's no problem. But to do this, we do need a spring compressor. So what we'll do if when we rebuild this is we'll put the spring back on like this. This has to be on top. We take the clutch and put it on top right here. And we compress it with the compressor and get it all the way down in here until the sh until this shaft right here sticks its little nose right through the top of the clutch and that you're able to take the snap this isn't a snap ring it's just a ring but you until you're able to take this ring and put it like I'm showing you right here you put it right on the edge in here and then you take a little screwdriver and press it into that groove all the way around after you do that you can release pressure on the ZTR or clutch cage or clutch bell whatever you, whatever you have and it will your clutch is is good and ready to go the one thing that people do not look at is the bearings okay and I want to show you something here remember I, I keep telling you that if you look the bike will tell you a story if you listen to it now here we have the engine it's kind of dirty down here but what you want to look for on this rear transmission right here and it is kind of dirty and I'm sorry about that but I didn't get a chance to clean it and I really don't give a fuck. Other than that, have a nice day. The rear bear the rear part of the bearing runs right here. Okay? This is the, the one with the snap ring. The front bearing in the pulley runs right here. Okay? Now what you want to look at is this area and this area. You want to see if you have any uh, um, marks that will show uh, uh, the bearing seizing or not working correctly. You want to uh, look for if there's any blue marks here. I'm, I'm talking about, um, you know, dark blue like it's heated up. That means your bearing shot. You want to look uh, right down in here to make sure there's no oil leaking from this oil gallery right here. The best way to tell is to take the bearings out and look at them. But since most people don't do that and don't have a really cool person like me to show them how to do that, thank you. Oh, oops. Sorry about that chair, wife. Uh, I didn't do it. Didn't see a damn thing, officer. Had my head turned. The check's in the mail. You can trust me. I wouldn't lie to you. Okay, let's, let's take the burns out.